This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news, all right? So Drake goes back at Childish Gambino's. This is America, part of the visuals. Uh, it was really, uh, it was basically supposed to be a Drake diss, okay? So Drake on his tour that just kicked off in Chicago, he said, uh, hey, you know, it's overrated and over awarded hit song i mean you know because this was originally a drake diss and drake takes these disses very personally childish gambino to me I, i'm sorry uh, <laughs> this rubs anybody the wrong way i think he i think he mostly is overrated okay the atlanta show was good for the first season lost me on the second and third season that's just me you might have liked it got a little weird all right hard to follow a lot actually a lot of shows lose me in the second and third season now we'll see if bmf season three can hold our attention because it was getting a little rocky during season two for in the middle part um but childish gambino has always been kind of an overrated artist he had one good album recently i think that's the one that this uh there was some decent tracks on the this is america album that was on um but he did shade Donald Glover. Can't play it because there's music involved. But uh, then we got the all white party with Michael Rubin. Obviously, Drake didn't attend this one. But this is like a billionaire's playground. The billionaires get to make all the famous people like Little Baby and even Jay Z and Beyonce who are billionaires themselves, show up. Now, I think jay Z's more in the billionaires club and making the rapper show up and bow down to all the billionaires. <laughs> As you see what's happening here, Michael Rubin approaches Little Baby from behind and gives him a nice hug and Little Baby's caught off guard like, ooh, whoa, what's this? Is this a billionaire on my back? And then he gets smushed between two guys and little baby's just loving it, right? Look at him. Look at that smile on his face. He's got Michael Rubin behind him, some guy in the front. It's a little spooky out there in the Hamptons. You know, get spooky at these billionaire parties. That's all I could say. So anyways, Boosie is looking at this from his mansion in Georgia with an ankle monitor on. And he's just like, damn, dog, I'm missing out on the fun. He wants a billionaire to mush him. So then he tweets a little baby. Tell Ruben I want to mess with that party next year on the cruise. Looks lit. I'm going to go turn it up. I'm sure you are, buddy. I'm sure you are. All righty. Then we got Joe Budden. He's doubting that Cardi B and Offset are back together like that uh, after Offset called her out for cheating. Yeah, you don't just call somebody out for cheating, right? Off especially if you're a cheater. Okay, Offset's a cheater, right? Calls out Cardi B, oh, you smashing other dudes. She went in uh, she live, did damage control. This is this is to promote her album. So now they're showing some PDA. Joe Bud is not buying it. He says, I don't know. I don't think some things are so peachy over there. That's about it. We'll get into some more stuff in a little bit. This is Jordan Tao with JT News.